guys, it's Cynthia, so today I'm doing a new video. It is August favorites right now. I am filming this on Thursday, like a normal, my normal thing is I film on Thursdays, which is September 1st, so it's a new month. And it's my birthday month! Yay! Before I get into the video, I really want you guys, when you're done watching this video, go check out my last video, which was Top 10 Favorite Vloggers 2. I know it's not going to do as good as the first one, but I really wanted to make that video. And yeah, so if you want to go check it out after you're done watching this video, click the I up here and go watch it. I love making the top tens, but I even love, more love making favorites. So let's hop right in. So a lot of you probably should know and probably do know that I love Urban Decay. That's one of my favorite brands, my favorite high-end brand. And this is my um, customizable palette. And I have been using this copper color. I'm going to put it on the screen now. For like a couple months now. And I hit pan. And I love it to pieces. What's funny is in this one, I hit pan on this one. But if we look in my Naked 2 itself, I hit pan on half-baked, and um, copper looks fine, but I almost hit pan on YDK. So I'm like, it's kind of backwards, and I just think it's hilarious. So copper has been my favorite shade this month out of the Naked 3. I have been using the Naked 3 a lot more. Uh, the month of August, I every once in a while I was reaching for it. So my favorite shade, I bet I can pop this sucker out. Love Neuter. It's a great color. I absolutely loved it last year. And I'm falling in love with it again when fall's coming. I don't know why, I just love that color mixed with any color. It is one of my favorites. Maybelline's um, Lash Sensation. I have two... Is it two? I have technically three mascaras in my drawer. I have Benefits, um, the Lash Blast, and this one, which I have been reaching for a lot. I've been reaching for this one a lot. I really this is becoming one of my favorites, and I think it's replacing the Rocket or the blue one I really like. Do I still have it? I might have thrown it away. Whatever the blue one looks like, I'm going to put the name here now. And it's replacing that one because I really like this one. Concealer, I talked about in a video I did a while ago when I first bought this, which is the CoverGirl True, uh, what is it, True Blend Fix Stick. And this is how much is left. Focus. Focus. That is much, how much is left. And the smell I'm used to. Because you remember I told you it had a weird smell like old makeup? I'm used to the smell, but, um, yeah. I gotta finish this up before, which the one I just bought, which I'm so happy I bought, which is my favorite Hide Blemish, um, Rimmel one. Really, really, um, I don't know why, but when I first got this, I really hated it. The one thing I do really wish it didn't do is when I first got it, first like three times I used it, the, it had a point to it. The point just can't completely came off. That was the only thing that bugged me, but I really, really like this. Next up is a toothpaste. I know that's weird, but for the entirety, pretty much, I think, yeah, most of August, I have been using this Aquafresh Extreme Clean Toothpaste. And I was really skeptical at first. Oh, it's in Mint Blast. I was really skeptical at first because I love my um, Arm & Hammer sensitive toothpaste and I really 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 was like I am not gonna like this and truthfully I realized I really like this. Now the last thing, this is the last two things I'm gonna talk about in makeup aren't really makeup products but I want to talk about it anyway. This isn't sponsored if you think this is so if you don't know I don't think none of you really know this I have eczema and it's, um, I get it on the backs of my legs and on the backs, like the back of my leg, um, behind my, on um, behind the back of my kneecap is the main portion of it and then the back of my leg. 
and um, for a while it got really really bad and I was using my normal creams and stuff and then I went to the doctor the allergist um, it's called the allergy and asthma center allergy allergy and asthma center and they treat my eczema there I think it's allergy and eczema center but um I went there and I tried out samples of what I'm about to talk about and it looks like this and um, I really really liked it and if you really want to know this is what it looks like focus come on I'm gonna take a picture of it the um it's called I think it's called epicream I have no idea the correct thing of it and it's called con it's control release skin barrier pollution and um this feels it is so good I use this once a day and I'm only allowed to use it once a day and it's um it doesn't have any really active ingredients that um are bad for you so if you have eczema and you're new to my channel hi I'm Cynthia and you didn't know that about me if you have like eczema knees controlled and you need a daily thing try this out it's worth it and this was 60 bucks at the pharmacy so it's you have to have a prescription to get it so if you have bad eczema try it skip sunglasses because I don't have anything and I have a bunch of stuff at the end I will talk about so next up we have Epsom month is Spotify I have been obsessed with it my music my iTunes music trial ended a long time ago in the middle of July or something so I got back Spotify and I have been loving Spotify I mean like I have one playlist called music favorites and I think if I look there is 43 songs in it and I have from Troy Sivan to like, there's a lot of Troy Sivan, some Justin Bieber, um, and just a bunch of random artists. And then I have one playlist that I've been adding to. And the song I'm about to talk about, which probably both of both a bunch of you know, is Cold Water, which is Major Lazer's Justin Bieber and M.O. I absolutely love this song. Like, I love it to pieces. It is in my favorite, one of my playlists that... Um, Airbud and I think and then a microphone you need to come check this playlist out I only have 14 songs on here and it has some really good music and it's like and another song I've been loving I'm gonna throw in here is this is my version by Connor Maynard go check it out along with my favorite album which is Connor Maynard covers oh my goodness I cannot rave enough about Connor Maynard I have been obsessed, I mean obsessed with his music recently, which sounds bad, but I have been loving, and his song is, um, it's called Connor Maynard Covers, absolutely love it, um, there's songs he covers like Pillow Talk, um, Seven Years, um, Just Hotline Bling, and then Love Yourself and Work and stuff, and they're so good and you have to go check them out I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description go check it out I absolutely love it this month is Psalms 119105 I talked about this a long time ago a couple along I think a bunch of favorites videos ago I'm gonna tell you a little quick little story I was reading my devotional a couple weeks ago and I found that verse I found Psalms one um, one nineteen and one oh five just it was there and I was like this sounds familiar why does this sound familiar I was like why does this verse look familiar I just see Psalms one nineteen one oh and then it says one oh five and I look at it and I go hold on and I go over there and I think I probably talked about it before I have it on my wall and I was like that totally makes sense so go check this verse out I absolutely love it and it's really good. So, is the Jim Gaffigan show? They just finished the season series, 
everything. They've done two seasons of it this, like so far. Did one last summer, and they did one this year. And he's done with it. Jim Gaffigan is my favorite comedian. I love his... He's just... I just love Jim Gaffigan. He's a funny guy. And he's a dad of five. And he's just very clean. He's clean comedy. And it's just so good. And then my... YouTuber is a person I talked about in the last video. So go check that video out when you're done watching this one. Which is Roman Atwood Vlogs. I started watching him a while ago, and he's just his vlogs have gotten really, really good, and I've really, really enjoyed his vlogs. And he's just a great person, and like I can't like there's no words to describe how great he is. He's awesome, and you need to go check him out. He's a great creator, and he's pretty good. And you're gonna be like, really, Cynthia? And Truthfully, I don't have new favorite. I don't have favorite sunglasses this month because I've been wearing my blue surface shades pretty much most of August, <laughs> and I'll show you what they are. Love. I found this shirt. When did I find? I found this shirt when I was at the lake. Last time I was at the lake, and I got it in white. Then, when again, they had it in black. Then I went again! They had it in grey. And I went again. They had it in yellowish, brownish gold. Then I went Tuesday and I got it in like a green. That's coming. I really like these shirts. So this is the black one. They have a tail on the bottom. The best way to describe it is look at the white one. They have a tail on the bottom. And I really, really like this shirt. And then this is the grey one. This is my favorite one. I wear this one a lot. So, like, I love this shirt. Favorite clothes, as they're in a pile in front of me, are leggings. So, as soon as school year started, this sounds really, really bad. So, first day of school, I impressed everybody. Very impressed. With some nice jean, long pair, um, short, like, cutoffs, pretty much. And they, like, stop at, like, before, like, after my calves. So, like, there's this much skin. And, first day of school, I was not comfortable. I was like, I impress everybody, so there I go, I look pretty good. Second day of school, walk in with leggings. And my best friend, um, Shania, you've seen her in the vlogs, my vlog I did in March. Um, she's like, I'm not impressing everybody. I'm like, anybody? I'm like, I won't, I don't care. So I have been wearing leggings a lot. I think I've worn them every day pretty much. So this is my favorite pair. Which I'm very mad about. I think they're inside out too. Um, very mad about. The other day I was rushily putting on my pants. Yes, these are inside out. I was rushily putting on a pair of leggings. Because I was going to be late. Which I was late. Wasn't that late. I was late to school. By like five minutes. And I, these are my favorite ones. They're really stretchy. And. Picked a hole in them. It's right here. It makes me mad. I got a hole in these and I love these. So I'm like, I gotta fix that. Then I have another plain pair of plain ones I wear all the time. I have these ones that have like lines. There you go, lines on them. And then I have the ones I'm wearing right now. These are my favorite ones. Love that. that oh, that's my foot. Ah, that's, okay. Just my leg in the shot. Here's my cap. Okay. These are my favorite ones. Oh, that hurt a lot. Um, those are my favorite ones. And I wear these a lot more. But I wash them a lot. But I love these two pieces. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, find my social links, and then down right below. Check out my last video, which was um, favorite top 10 favorite um, vloggers, too. Go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Bye, guys!